I made some stupid mistakes in 2023, and I'm going to share my top fails and biggest wins so you can learn from my lessons and soar in 2024. All right, so number one top fail is I did not quit smoking. Complete honesty with you right there. I still smoke tobacco. I roll American Spirit tobacco. It's crazy. I know it's insane. It's something that I've been wanting to do almost every day. I haven't been able to do it yet. Number two fail is I didn't exercise enough. I was lazy and that's it. I don't have any other reasons or excuses. I've got an assignment that I did and I want to share with you in case you want to turn your annual review into a high performance practice. The assignment is simply to write down the things that you did that you're not happy about or decisions that you made that were fucked up. So let's move on to the next section, which is my biggest wins. So number one for me was I started the podcast from earlier this year. It was called The Sober Bros, and it was all about documenting our journey from being addicted to alcohol and drinking every day to sobering up and changing our lives. Find out what that passion project is for you, that thing that's been on the back burner that you want to bring to the forefront of your life, something that is calling to you from inside that you want to birth outside into the world, make it happen in 2024. So moving on to number two, I got sober. If you've ever struggled with addiction in your life, you know that it's a really big deal to overcome that addiction so you can become the kind of person that you know you could be inside. You just have to put in the effort and build those habits. Moving on to number four, big win for me in 2023 was I started practicing the skill of writing so I can become a writer. That's something I wanted to do back when I was a kid. It was an old dream of mine, forgotten for years because of addiction. This matters to you because it's a skill that we can take anywhere. All businesses and brands need words. They need good words that sell products and ideas. And it's also gonna help you to become a better person. So I highly recommend picking up the pen for yourself. Okay, so your assignment for the wins in your life is to write down your wins, your habits, goals, and anything that you did well and honor yourself for those things to reinforce the behaviors that you want to repeat. So here's a tip, view changing your mind as a software update that improves upon the old way of thinking. We want a new way of thinking. Here's another quick tip for you. What activities, people, or projects consistently generated or drained energy from your life? And what did you not do because of fear? What were you afraid of? What held you back? The flip side of that is your goal for next year is to get closer to your fears. So they don't control you, you can become in, in control of them. And surround, as I said earlier, surround yourself with positive people because it matters the energy of the people that we associate with. All right, that's all I got for you today in this video. I want you to sign up for my educational email course. You can find the link in the description. I ghostwrite educational email courses for health and fitness creators who focus on healthy habits and addiction recovery. This is for businesses, brands, creators on YouTube. I have my first course for myself. It's a crash course. It's a five day mini course for men on how to get sober, develop the right mindset and habits for unshakable sobriety going into 2024. Uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more because I'm going to be hitting 2024 as hard as I can. I'm going to be going back to my style of making videos out on the land. I appreciate you tuning in. So bye for now.